let's understand the structural orbital details of ammonia, NH3. First of all, his Lewis dot structure would look like this, which helps us determine his hybridization. And we saw in another online lecture how to quickly do this. We determine the steric number, and in this case, the nitrogen in the center has a total steric number of four, which means this central nitrogen is therefore sb3 hybridized. Knowing this, let's look at the actual orbital arrangement of the bonds of ammonia. Remember, all atoms that are sp3 hybridized are simply surrounded by four sp3 hybridized orbitals. And as it stands right now, these orbitals would be 109.5 degrees apart. Now, how do we explain nitrogen having three hydrogens bonded to him and one lone pair of electrons? Well, one of the orbitals would head on overlap with an s orbital of a hydrogen, making this sigma bond right here. This would also be true for all the other NH bonds. For instance, for this sp3 hybridized orbital, he'll head on overlap with the s orbital for the hydrogen. That would create another sigma bond. And the same is said for the third hydrogen. We would have the sp3 orbital overlap with an s orbital of the hydrogen which leaves that top sb3 orbital left. Well, this must be the orbital where the lone pair resides. So this is the orbital arrangement of ammonia and how it makes its bonds. And notice, because of that lone pair of electrons right there, that means the actual bond angles in this molecule are gonna be 107.5 degrees. And this is because, remember, Vesper theory says that lone pair electrons take up more space so the electrons on top of nitrogen are simply squeezing these NH bonds and bringing those hydrogens closer together. Now let's make sense of nitrogen's electronic configuration. Remember on the periodic table of elements, he's number seven, which means he has a total number of seven electrons to be neutral. Two of those seven would be in a 1s orbital. And to figure out where the rest are, let's hybridize his second shell. Again, we take an s and three p orbitals. We hybridize them to make four sb3 hybridized orbitals. So to get a total of seven electrons, remember we have one, two in the one s orbital. This would be three. This would be the fourth electron. We'd have the fifth one here, six, and the seventh one we'd then have to double up in one of the orbitals. Notice this follows our structure in the upper right. One of the sb3 orbitals, this one right here, does have two electrons in it. And the three remaining sb3 orbitals right here would only have one electron in them so that these electrons could pair up with the electrons in the 1s orbital of the hydrogen. So make sure you understand these structural details of ammonia.